Okay, this will be an update on my closet. Uh, this closet is mainly D&D, uh, &D, Michael Moorcock, uh, some Cthulhu stuff. So here we start with the uh, LJN D&D &D figures uh, from 1984 and 85. Um, so I've filled in a few more of these baskets here full of stuff. And below here are my uh, lead miniatures. Let's see if we can go a little closer here. I had to replace the shelving unit, uh, so I just did something super cheap and got some scrap wood, which is just sitting on some nails here, but uh, it seems to work out all right. Just go uh, down here from shelf to shelf. So I sort of lost count in terms of how many uh, miniature figures I have. I have primarily the the lead or pewter ones, but. Uh, as you can see from the shelf, I have started to pick up some of the pre-painted plastic ones, which I didn't really care for initially, but they've grown on me, so, um, yeah, let's see here, and as we get towards the bottom here, a couple more shelves, So let's go ahead and move up here. We'll go maybe right over here. Uh, these are the others uh, from that boxed uh, set that I uh, painted myself here. Some I like the paint jobs, others a little weak. Uh, the dune corner is still here, along with some... Uh, D, D figures there. If we move up, uh, a few Cthulhu items. Uh, if we go way up, uh, there's the Dune Sandworm up there. That's also an LJN figure from 1984. Uh, below that is some prehistoric uh, times or prehistoric, yeah, yeah, prehistoric times or dinosaurs by uh, Marx. And then Whoa, there we go. That's a different setup there. But, uh, okay. So, there we go. There's the, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons uh, animated DVD series there. Uh, a few other things here. Let's drop down. Okay. Some carded miniatures, uh, some Cthulhu and other. Okay. And then all these boxes here will have uh, complete sets of figures in them. Let's see what's behind here. There we go. Oh, that war mammoth. Yeah, that's a nice one. Across this way, I think. All right, and then we will. Well, we might as well just keep moving this way, actually. Um, okay. All these are filled boxes, except when we get up a little bit higher. Like the silver dragon is not uh, that's painted and sitting on the shelf. Here's some uh, endless quest and choose your own adventure books, uh, dragon dice and and other dice uh, 
here and a few other items. And uh, Yuri, Indiana, some books in the DVD set. Uh, a few other items. That box is obviously empty. This is just for display, and the same thing here, just for display on the Wizards and Warriors. But that's filled. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go over here and we'll look at box sets right now. Um, I think I tried to do them by manufacturer, but uh, that's not necessarily... Set in stone, I, I, I think I varied a little bit, but um, there we go. And I've been <clears throat> very fortunate to be able to acquire a lot of this stuff at really, really low cost. I, I bought many of these uh, box sets uh, a long time ago, and I think I paid four bucks per box set especially for a lot of this old TSR stuff I think most of that I got at four bucks per box set and there we go okay See if I can go back and get a little bit more of a perspective on things here. This is not a, uh, I mean, it's a walk in closet, but it's not the hugest closet, so it's pretty tight in here. Okay, there's a nice example of a dragon there. Um, some other little uh, archive miniatures uh, still on the card. Go across this way. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I guess I'll come back on that. There we go. Some more miniatures. Then some in the basket over here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. There are some dice bags over there. And let's see. Let's come back here. See if we can get a little perspective there. Okay. So if we come down here, there's the uh, Elric and other Michael Moorcock hardbacks all through here. There's a few trade paperbacks. Oh, there's um, the original D&D &D with a few extra supplements in it. And there's my Breaking Bad bear. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll come down on this shelf here. There's the uh, <clears throat> Elric paperbacks here. Uh, down here would be some Hawkmoon. Going back to pick up a few more Elrics at, at the start there. And, boy, it's dark down there. Okay. So, Corum and other uh, Eternal Champions. And then, okay, so there is 3rd uh, edition D&D, 4th edition D&D. Uh, let's see, these are some mint uh, Middle Earth role-playing uh, still still in their uh, plastic wraps. There's some um, what do we have over here? We've got some Greyhawk and City State of the World Emperor over there. And if we go back up here this is uh, first edition AD&D, starting with uh, the original 
cover versions of the Monster Manual, Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, and then I start over with the second um, cover art uh, of the Monster Manual, Player's Handbook, DM's Guide, and then do the Fiend Folio. Uh, picking up a few more Fiend Folios here. There's five deities and demigods, the first two of which are the 144 page ones, and then the other three are 128 pages. And moving on, Monster Manual 2, Legends and Lore, Unearthed Arcana, a very controversial source book, but one of my favorites. Uh, Oriental Adventures, Dungeoneer Survival Guide, Wilderness Survival Guide. Dragonlance, Manual of the Plains, and then Greyhawk Adventures down there, going into 2nd edition AD&D. And there's some 5th edition stuff there. And I think we will come back up this way. And... Here's a DD and d box I just got from Barnes & Noble when they were going out of business in my hometown. Uh, a lot of dragon skins in here, and I've got probably half a dozen others around the, around the house uh, with serving various functions. Um, this is some game overflow. Uh, here's some further... RPGs, sort of a mix of things here. Really, they're sort of grouped just because I was running out of space for, for everything. Uh, some more figures, the slave auction figures. I got two different sealed versions of uh, Dennis Mises' slave auction. If we move up here to this shelf, some Cthulhu. Lovecraft, uh, some nice old Lovecraft uh, hardback, which I picked up at a garage sale around the corner from my house. Move up to this shelf here. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, the Lovecraft paperbacks. I think those are... 70s or 80s, I don't remember now. And then there's some that are even a little bit older. Uh, Lovecraft uh, right there. And there's a few newer ones on the end. And up on top. Okay, so let's see. So that's sort of how it looks. And then if we go down here. Oh. So there's... Um, some boxed set modules here, or source books, I guess. Then these are actual D&D uh, &D modules um, all through here. Uh, there's also some screens over here. Okay, and then uh, here would be the GURPS. Going into Torg. And then uh, Rifts, Palladium. And well, that's the Amber Diceless Roleplaying. Um, I want to get that. I know there's a second, uh, second volume uh, that I don't have. I'd like to put that right here at some point. And down here, a little more miscellaneous. Okay. And a little bit of overflow down there. And of course, now I've realized that I have forgotten to go over here. <laughs> okay. Here's other Moorcock uh, books over here. 
but I don't know. That just this is um, yeah, just more more Michael Mork. I think there's over 300 uh, Morcock books in here now, and this. That orange folder is a bunch of uh, characters from many different games over the past, oh, 35, maybe 40 years. Uh, a few more cock books. And then, um, oh, this is uh, right here. Let's see, where's my hand? Okay, here and below. Those are Frank Frazetta calendars, vintage calendars. And then, of course, in these plastic um, little uh, cases here are all unpainted uh, lead miniatures going up here. And then if we come over here, uh, there's another couple... Uh, containers of the miniatures and then all of this would be the uh, white wolf vampire the masquerade and werewolf um, mage um, wraith changeling demon the whole thing and a few other little overflow items there okay so now well, we're gonna have to go back across here since I okay we sort of left off right down there we'll come back up here uh, there's not really much interesting up here most of that's just <clears throat> poetry stuff there's a uh, sword and flame figures there in their original shipping um, box And then we get over to this cabinet that has got the Cthulhu items primarily in here. And then at the end, a little bit of Pathfinder stuff there. Uh, if we go down to the next shelf, here's the Elric uh, Stormbringer stuff by Chaosium some of the mongoose stuff some elric comics um of which let's see yeah there we go some of the elric comics in there there's some uh the central casting the three central casting books are here and then these are um gen con programs right there come down here uh, shadow run okay and the bottom here is all uh, dragon magazines okay and hanging on the back of this door there are some Twin Peaks totes but there is the uh, Demogorgon uh, tote, and this has oh man, can you see this here? This has um, this is filled pretty much uh, with various dice. here just some carded old older figures Ralpartha Traveler Martian metals other minifigures uh, the uh, rivets and that sort of takes us right down to where we started 
Well, that should do it in terms of uh, the new configuration of this closet.